Hello everyone. Today I am going to talk about an important topic that is anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis is the common emergency we encounter in an hospital. So we will discuss anaphylaxis in following things. What is anaphylaxis? What are the risk factors? Presentation, management and what are the other differential diagnosis of anaphylaxis. So what is anaphylaxis? Anaphylaxis is a type of immune mediated reaction. It is usually a type 1 hypersensitivity reaction. It can happen to anyone and anybody under the sun due to variety of reasons. Anything can trigger anaphylaxis in any person. So it can be previously he might be taking the drug but in a, any setting it can trigger him to the anaphylaxis. Then what are the risk factors? Risk factors for anaphylaxis are one uh, injections like antibiotics, then painkillers like diclofenac, then in a snake bite situation, anti snake venom which we inject for uh, against the snake venom. Then in an anesthesia setup, uh, attractivium can trigger uh, histamine release leading to anaphylactic, and variety of drugs can lead to anaphylactic reaction. Some people are react, uh, reactive to few food products. So, what are the presentation of anaphylactic shock? So, when a patient presents with anaphylactic shock, he may present us in a various patterns. Commonly, sometimes it may go unnoticed because that it may cause small amount of itching, and the patient time may pass out by his luck, he may get survived. In other cases, when the anaphylaxis goes into shock, patient may present with edema of the lips, itching in the throat, breathing difficulty, then flushing of the face, redness of the face, then breathing difficulty, bronchospasm, wheezing and uh, patient may feel giddiness and he may collapse and fall because of shock which impairs the blood supply to brain. This is the presentation of anaphylactic shock. Then, uh, what what is the management of anaphylactic shock? So, coming to management of anaphylactic shock is if the causative agent is known, like IV antibiotic or IV diclofenac or any other drug which is causing anaphylaxis in the present situation, stop the administration of a drug. Call for help alone we cannot handle it sometimes so we need somebody for help to give, for managing anaphylactic shock so call for help then give 100 percent oxygen make the patient lie down lift his legs so that the blood goes from lower limbs into the uh, towards the heart and it can supply to the brain then once the help and all is arrived take a wide bore IV cannula in the prominent veins or a central line if possible then inject crystalloids or colloids crystalloids usually 20 ml per kg like RL, NS depending on available crystalloid fill the system with fluid then keeping in consideration of patients other comorbidities and general condition while managing this uh, patient subjectively then if the patient is arrested or there is no rhythm or uh, it is a system, we should start CPR and follow the CPR guidelines that is 30, 30 compression and 2 breaths and intubate it is as per ACLS protocol. If the patient is still in hypotension, the saturation is dropped, you are giving oxygen crystallites, then we should start him on hydrocortisone 2 mg per kg followed by a bill or chlorpheniramine malleate injection and uh, most important is adrenaline we should not hesitate to inject adrenaline adrenaline is injected either subcutaneously intramuscularly or intravenously so whenever you face anaphylactic shock or anaphylactic reaction don't hesitate to use adrenaline so adrenaline comes in one, 1 in 1000 ampule most commonly then 
is dilated up to 10 mm, you can use intravenous adrenaline at what 1 microgram per kg body weight. Then if you are using uh, subcutaneously or intramuscularly, we have to use 500 microgram per kg subcutaneous saying to the patient and his response and manage accordingly. Then if the patient, uh, when the patient recovers, you have to follow him up once he is out of danger. We have to start the uh, medicines to increase his BP like noradrenaline or adrenaline inf infusion. Start uh, hydrocortisone and we will follow up the patient. And uh, while doing this, we should have few differential diagnosis when we face such patients. The differential diagnosis can be uh, airway obstruction, asthma, then tension pneumothorax, anaphylactoid reaction, sepsis, and cardiovascular shock. The important takeaway from this video is we should never hesitate to use adrenaline. So, 1 microgram per kg IV, then 500 microgram subcutaneous or intramuscularly, then hydrocortisone 2 mg per kg and along with chlorpheniramine millet and remove the operating agent and the patient once recovers he should be told about cause for his allergic reaction and take precautions in future instances of uh, if the patient requires administration of uh, agent.